on second thoughts, the rain's flying into my potting shed, so I'm gonna finish these later. <laughs> homestead. Uh, it's a very nice windy day today and a bit cloudy and it's a nice cool wind blowing. It's been raining a lot off and on. We've had some sideways rain and things so but it's a nice patch now so kids and I are outside and I'm gonna start sowing some seeds. It's that time already to start cold season um, crops from seed. The brassicas are up now, so we've got broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and the main ones I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do some kale, just in case I don't get any more popping up. Uh, I'm rethinking what I'm doing with the brassicas a little bit, because in the past I've done bunch of cabbages and then we end up with too many cabbages at once and also they linger into spring and get in the way a bit of the spring and summer crops uh, so I'm gonna try doing less cabbages try um, and also uh, I've usually done pak choy purple and green pak choy and tuck soy as well which are nice, they're good. Uh, Steve and I like them, but the kids aren't that fussed on puck joy, you know, it's a bit kind of chewy. Um, so rather than planting a bunch of stuff that we don't end up using all that much, I'm gonna try and focus most of the space on broccoli and cauliflower, because otherwise I just end up buying a lot of broccoli and cauliflower from the store to keep up with what we eat because we all really like those so I'm trying to grow more of what we actually eat to offset the grocery bill a bit more uh, but I do still want to grow some pak choy and tatsoi is I'm going to sow them a little bit later and plan to use them more as, uh, not as microgreens, but as salad greens, so baby leaf stage. So try and plant them closely together because um, that's worked quite well with pak choy before. Uh, so they don't get very big and use the baby leaves for salads and things. So we'll see how we go. I'm pretty good at sowing lots of seeds. <laughs> it's always good to sow more than you need, but I've got to try and be restrained about the cabbage and things, otherwise I'm going to end up with not enough space, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully you could hear me with the wind out there. I just realised it's probably not the best um, sitting out there with all that wind going on, but anyway, I've got a few different broccoli and cauliflower varieties to try. Oh, hopefully things aren't going to get blown away by the wind. Okay, broccoli, we've got Bell Star, which I have grown before. Last time I did Bell Star in Premium Green, and the Premium Green definitely did better. They held their heads well, whereas the Bell Star went to seed fairly quickly, which wasn't helpful, but I've got a full packet of that. Pretty sure premium green was the good one. 
And then I've also got Summer Green, which is F1, Premium Green and F1 too, also is Belster. Uh, they're just the open pollinated one. Didn't do very well for me here. So I haven't tried Summer Green before, so I've got that to try as well. Ah. So three, three broccoli varieties. I've also got the purple sprouting broccoli, Winter Rudolph, which is the cold season version. Uh, so that's always a great hit with the kids. So we've got three varieties of cauliflower. We've got early white, uh, which is, I think that was the one I did, yeah, the one I did last year, but they all bolted in their seed trays because what happened, uh, hard life circumstances happened and I didn't get to plant them soon enough. So we've got early white, which is an F1, and then we've got a giant of Naples and snowball. Which I don't think I've tried either of those two before, so we'll see how they go. Uh, I've also got a cauliflower variety, Ruapehu, which is from Koanga. I've grown it before and it's been out of stock for a while and it's just popped up in stock again so I'm getting that quick smart while I can because that one was a good one. It's a slower growing one but it grew well without bolting and had a nice big head. Next we'll do cabbage so I've got two red cabbages, red express and oh where's it gone? And Scarlet O'Hara. Scarlet O'Hara does well for us last year so that was good but I'll just do might do a bit of each <laughs> we'll see uh, and then we've got the green cabbage versus savoy savoy cabbage then we've got kale red russian which is my favorite kale to grow it's the only one I'm growing these days I find the kales that are more curly or yeah, tightly curled or serrated get, attract more insects. We have a lot of bugs and things around here so they're just a bit harder to clean when you want to use them. Um, the red Russian tastes good and it's easy to see if there are any bugs and wash them if needed. And then I've got something we haven't tried before which is collards. This is Collard High Crop F1. So we're going to see what that's like. That is similar to a cabbage, but instead of forming a head, I guess it grows a bit taller and it's sort of like an open leaf cabbage or a bit more like kale form, I guess you could think about it that way. So you harvest the leaves rather than, as you need them, rather than the whole head and it's supposed to have quite good nutrition as well. So we'll see how that goes. For the record, I'm using Dalton's Organic Seed Mix. Because that's what I trust. <laughs> sowing two varieties per tray so I've got two cauliflower varieties in here one at the front and one at the back and then we'll do a cauliflower and a broccoli in this one 
As long as they stay on the side of the cinder line, or the cinder, I should be right. Doesn't matter too much if I mix them up, a couple of them up. Flowers do we need? Or how many can we fit into the garden? It's kind of like chickens, <laughs> but are you going to fit a what on earth is that? Oh, it's in a little capsule. That's interesting. Uh, are they treated? No, they're organic. But they look like they've got a coating on them. I haven't come across that before. Uh, nothing else seems like it has that. Oh, well, maybe it's an organic coating. Or is it for measuring the seed? There aren't very many in there. Well, I'm not highly inclined to plant those again. Anyway, interesting, very interesting. I'll just do them all. I'm sure they weren't in a funny capsule last time. Anyway. Kind of like breeding chickens, like you can fit quite a lot of seeds into one tray. You only need it, you don't need to start with big pots or anything, you just start with a little seed tray and when they're bigger you can prick them out. You can fit, I mean tens if not hundreds of seeds depending on what it is. Uh, in a tray, but <laughs> when they get bigger, they need a lot more space in the garden. Just like chickens, it doesn't seem like that many when you can start 20 or 30 eggs in the incubator in one go. And the chicks don't take up that much space when they're little. But they grow pretty fast, and before you know it, you've got masses of chickens to feed and look after. And potentially butcher. This is another broccoli. Well, we won't have any shortage, I can say that much. I don't have any shortage of seedlings so long as everything goes to plan. Yeah. Whoopsies. <laughs> no. Oh. How you going, buddy? Uh, what are you doing with the loppers? Okay. Whoa. Okay. This is not the That's not the best seed starting with it. But anyway. <laughs> what? There's nothing in here. Oh. I have got another packet, I think. Why did I put an empty packet back in? Maybe I didn't realise it was empty. Maybe it's got like one. Mm -hmm. OK. 
Okay, I guess I'll go get the other packet from inside. It's getting a bit crazy out there. I'm just gonna go rescue Scarlet. <laughs> now it's pouring with rain. This is not ideal, at least I'm in my shed. <laughs> I just went and rescued Scarlet from the front garden. I think Angus is still out there, but not for long. Um, I just had a branch break on the tree out the front and leaves flying everywhere. So I'm going to quickly finish these seeds and get inside. On second thoughts, the rain's flying into my potting shed, so I'm going to finish these later. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Calm down before I could finish <laughs> topping off my seed trays and take them out. I'll just pretend that I was trying to clean my floor. Okay. A few cabbages. Oh, no, no, too many. Oh, there we are. If too many pop up, we can always eat them as microgreens. Just like that, the brassicas are done. Except for the Ruapehu cauliflower seeds, which are on their way, which I may have forgotten to account for, but that's okay. Always eat microgreens or give them away.